Welcome to Punarvasi Technologies. www.punarvasi.com is my website. I used to write different step by step procedures in this website. I am Mr. Raz, SAP Basis International Trainer, trained students in 55 countries. In this video, I am going to show you, show you how to configure two system landscape in SAP NetViewer system. So this is the SAP NetViewer system. I use development and production system for this experiment. I have installed different SAP systems in single host for performing these experiments. So even though I have installed SAP system four times, to perform this particular two system landscape configuration, you need to have only two SAP systems that is development and production. First, let us log on to development system. TMS should be configured within triple zero client only so that I am logging on to triple zero client. And to look at the configuration, existing configuration, STMS is the T code, hit enter and click on the overview button, overview menu, click on the systems so that it will show existing systems available in the configuration that is only one development system is there and uh, go to environment and click on the transport routes. So this is single system landscape. So now our idea is to create two system landscape. How to create two system landscape? Before configuring TMS within production system, first you have to create virtual system using create virtual system. Just you can think that the development system is ready and uh, in future that is you, you are going to add production system. So before getting your physical host of production system, you can create virtual system. So later you can transport all the changes to the production system. The system identifier is PRT and uh, system PRT and the communication system that is domain controller is DEV that is development system which where we have logged in already. Just click on the save button after entering the details of the virtual system that is PRD is the virtual system you see this symbol denotes virtual system and now there are two systems available in this system that is in this configuration now you can create two system landscape using virtual system also how to create two system landscape using virtual system to create two system landscape by using these two systems one is physical system another is virtual system Click on the environment, click on transport routes and here two systems are available here you see the development and production and click on the display or change button from the application toolbar and now it will give you the option to create the landscape from the configuration standard configuration click on development and production system and now it will ask you to enter the develop you have to specify the which SID is the development and which SID is the production. So like this you have to choose click on the continue button and it will show the graphic like this you just maximize the graphic it will show like this this is the development system this is the production system and these are all called routes transport routes from here to here the development and customization objects will be transported to the production system once the development and quality assurance test are done in the development system and that will be transported to production system. So now once you get this graphic just you have to click on the save button to distribute the configuration to other system that is develop production system. So name this as two system landscape. Two system landscape. Click on the transfer button. Do you want to distribute and activate the configuration across all systems? Click on the S button and uh, click log 
and exit. Now the configuration has been done, but the production system still is it is virtual, even though we have production system existing. That is, production system is already there. So that what we'll do is just let, let us log on to the production system first. and go to triple zero DDIC and the password now enter stmst code here hit enter so this screen will be shown automatically because the domain controller has been already configured the configuration files already available in the trans directory so that you will get this screen stating that domain controller C information is this that is DEV Target host is NW7EHP1, the system number is 00, and user is TMS ADM. Just accept the defaults, whatever it has given here. Click on the save button. SAP system waiting to be included in transport domain because that domain controller has to confirm this particular membership that is joining. So where you can do that in the development system, go to configuration, click on the exit button from here and now just click on the refresh button. By this time, this virtual system became the physical system. Just observe the symbol here. So it will be changed to physical system. There is no virtual symbol here. That means physical system and another system, another status symbol is denoting here is waiting to be included means the production system the production physical system has been added to the existing configuration so that should be approved in the domain controller how to approve that particular production system in the domain controller select that particular system click on the SAP system click on the approve button so that the system will be approved include system PRD in transport domain click on the S button so it is active and it is approved so by this time if you go to production system and click on the uh, overview and uh, click on the systems button so same information should be displayed here also okay so in this way you can configure two system landscape in SAP NetViewer system I hope you understood this particular experiment if you have any questions or doubts you can leave your comments in my website www.punarvasi.com or also you can leave your comments in my youtube channel page under this video thanks for watching